Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Kat from an Itty Bitty Homestead and today we are going to be rendering some pork fat. So this is um, fat I've had left over from when I canned bacon and this is all the fat that came from, I don't know, what was it, 10 pounds of bacon, something like that. And it's just been sitting in my refrigerator and um, I have, ironically enough, I have actually cleaned this. Um, and how I cleaned it was once I had it, once I had cooked all the bacon, I strained it off. I strained this and then I, I simmered it in water. Um, and then um, took that off, let it cool, put it in the fridge and then took off the f all the fat that had come to the surface and all the yucky stuff had stayed at the bottom. Really cool process. And I actually did it twice. I'm not sure where that came from, but... You know, nothing's a perfect process. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this one down, add it to this, and while all this is happening, I am going to um, look up how to can fats because um, I don't want to store all this in my freezer because, you know, power goes out. I don't have a generator. I can't keep my freezer running. And I don't want all this lovely fat that I could use later on go to waste. So I'm thinking this is sort of maybe the same process of like canning butter, um, which I've done and it's still shelf stable. It's been months and um, I'm going to test it in a year and see how it is. But at any rate, um, I'm going to... Hi fellow YouTubers, this is Kat from an Itty Bitty Homestead and today I'm bringing you part two of my canning lard. Now I was unable to locate a YouTube video or any instructions on the internet to safely can lard. That wasn't a surprise. The YouTube part was, but the safely canning lard, not a surprise. Um, so I'm, I'm going to follow the method of one YouTube channel that I found that um, she just gets the lard really hot, her jars are really hot, her lids are really hot, and she just puts the lid on, twists it down as tight as she can, and sets it aside. Calls it done. Okay, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this or not. I'm going to give it a shot. If my jars ping, I will feel a little bit better. Um, look, if they go bad, it's not necessarily the end of the world for me. Um, I don't really use lard all that much. I just buy, I buy Crisco. So, but it just so happened I, when I canned bacon, I had a lot of excess fat, so I kept rendering it and, and, um, and water bathing it to get it cleaner. So it's very clean. I added a little more today and, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started doing it. Now I, I, I don't know. And if anybody does know, okay, so here's, here's something you can help me with. If I use the technique for canning butter, which I have done successfully, and you have to put that into a pressure canner, okay, for a, a, a little bit, um, would you can the lard the same number of minutes, or do you have to can it longer because it's straight from the animal, you know, where butter's been processed? Um, lard has not been processed, so um, food for thought. Okay, why don't you <laughs> go on over and we'll we'll get started on this. <laughs> okay. So, just wanted to show you what all I've got out so far. Um, I've got my lids and rings in boiling water. This water I brought it to a boil twice. Um, I've got my vinegar for the rims, and this is my funnel and my scoop that I'm going to use, um, both of which I have poured a whole bottle, of, a whole container, I'm sorry, kettle of boiling water over and rinse them really well. So they've been sterilized and then I've covered them up to keep them clean. Got a couple pesky flies that I don't know how they got in, but they did. Okay, now let me go get the lard. Here's my lard. Lard is hot. See, nice and pretty. Okay, and my jars have been in the oven for 25 minutes at 220 degrees, 225 or somewhere around there. So, uh, 
bring those over, bring a couple over. Okay, I'm just gonna do two at a time, all three. Bring the third one over. I don't think I'm gonna get, I think I may only get two, so um, we'll see. Okay, so funnel. Let me make sure you can see really well. I actually could have you a little bit lower. Hmm. This doesn't go lower. What if I turn it? Does that work better? All right. Now let me get. Every time I think I have thought of everything, and then I think of something else. All right. I just need something to put this in. I don't want to get lard or, you know, grease all over my mat here. And I'm doing it in these small jars. Um, um, because I don't really use a lot of this. Okay, now she said to fill it up as full as you can. Just barely to the top. Okay, so that's barely to the top. Now this is um, vinegar. I want to take that off. That jar is screaming hot. Okay, and the vinegar helps to break through any of the fat. Okay. Pipe and hot lid and ring. Yeah, yeah it's hot. <laughs> okay. All right. So there you go. It's one. All right, let's do the next one. trickier than I thought it was going to be. You got to do everything, you know, so hot. I don't normally have my jars quite this hot, but I mean, I do do, you know, I do do them hot, but not this hot. Okay, looks like I'm going to maybe get three. That's cool. I do want to learn how to make my own um, pie dough, and I've heard that using your your own lard uh, makes for the best pie dough. We'll see. <laughs> okay, gotta be a better way to do this. I'm not impressing myself, so whoops. See look at that, that lid. Alright. Let's try this again. You know these gloves are great, but boy are they cumbersome. Alright, let's try a new one. I would rather go through a few extra lids than get one of these to fail just because I wasn't careful. Okay, there we go. All right. Now for the last one. I think this one I can probably... Sorry for my arm. Probably just pour in because I don't think it's going to be a whole jar. Oh, I was wrong. It is a good size jar. Yay. All right. Okay. 
Okay, fresh dip. Thorough wiping. There we go. All right. So there we have it. Three jars of lard, uh, four ounce jars. So um, that's actually really not bad. That'll last me a, a very long time. And um, so we'll see now if these actually pop when they cool down. And if they don't, uh, if they don't, pop by tomorrow morning that'll be you know 12, well it'll be a little more than 12 hours if they're not sealed by morning then um i will just stick them in the freezer i'm i'm i have other jars like this one in the freezer and they have not i'm um, sorry they have not uh shattered so um yeah okay we're back in the lard they've all sealed um I don't know why they're taking so long to solidify. This whole thing should solidify. So, um, a little bit curious. But like I said, this is an experiment. I didn't actually run them through any process outside of getting the lard hot. The jars were piping hot and um, lids were hot. Everything was hot. Uh, just put the lids on and seal them. But they've all, all three have sealed and... Um, going to see what happens. And either I'll have three shelf-stable four-ounce jars of lard, or I won't. You know, life is always a lesson. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a, um, <laughs> I don't know, a kick in the rear because I am exhausted. It's only 6.30 in the morning, so, um, okay, let me get this finished. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you, and uh, if you want to be notified nearly instantaneously when new videos are uploaded, uh, just click on that little bell button. I will see you all again soon, I hope. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.